So can you side step or side walk the wall standing four? Yeah, you could side. Generally, since it's a right leg coming up, uh, I like to side step it right. So I'm stepping it to the leg that it's not coming out from. And right there, you see a whip. When you see a whip, you get a whip punisher, launch, or anything. Now, does that also avoid the full crouch low? I don't think so. It does not. So that is her option to cover that one. But uh, also, it's always just mind games. If you mm -hmm. think that low is going to come, you could try to uh, sidestep right and then try to low parry right away. So you kind of avoid the wall standing four and the low. It's kind of a that option sounds select. Sounds pretty good. It's kind of like an option select, I guess, where you could cover two options with one... Uh, one uh, you know answer and there's also the ever popular down back three into down back three and if he does that again <laughs> you know my option select just got screwed because my low carry window just disappeared after the full crouch down four one plus two and then i'm not avoiding the wall standing four anymore because he just crouch canceled into a down back three again yep down back three is cheap <laughs> it's not cheap it's pretty good, <laughs> it's, pretty good it's a good luck i'll give it that some other things that'll beat Elisa is jabbing, actually. You'll notice that a lot of her moves put her airborne, just like her one. It's four. A four, four. Dynamic range. A four, three. She's got plenty of moves, probably more than any other, any other character in the game that puts her airborne. Even her sweep puts her airborne, and she's vulnerable to jabs. Oh, no. I get a combo. And we talked about her high crushing moves earlier though, and she, she seemed to have quite a few, right? But not against, I guess not a lot of high damaging, high crushing moves. Not really. But I mean, some of them, like the really, obviously the best one is down back three, but I mean, if you want to go for damage, you could go down back four, but it's launch puncher. Right. There's no juggle in the yeah. open, only it, against the wall. Only against the wall. Only against the wall, yeah. You only get the juggle at the wall. So it's, it's kind of in your favor to just kind of throw out a jab against her, if you think she might do a move. <laughs> Yeah, almost, right? Sometimes. Almost. I mean, because well, the high crush moves aren't very good, and I, you might get a floater juggle on her. I mean, if I'm like from around like this range, which would be like range like seven or something, because mm -hmm. it's like seven character distances apart, and you know, if, Lar if the Lisa players want to be stupid or something and want to like, when I still have momentum, uh, I could just like anticipate her doing like a fly mix up from that range, and I could just like down forward one her out of it or anything. Oh, yeah, I get a combo, you know? It's mm -hmm. like, it's kind of too risky for her to just throw out fly mix up from full screen to cover distance. And generally, like, uh, like her 1 plus 2 as well. I mean, it low crushes, but the range it has, and it's kind of risky. She's in the air for a long time. She yeah. can get jabbed out of the air. You know, it's really not really favorable for her unless she's really anticipating a whiff low from, like, range over here or something. Where, who's going to whiff lows from, like, range 5 or yeah. something? <laughs> no point. Okay, so let, let's talk about her back three plus four. Okay. How bad is it on block, just by itself? Just by itself. Uh, right now, I actually don't know, but it's at least minus 19. Minus 19. At yeah. least minus 19. Uh, so pretty much everyone's getting a launcher. So does it have any pushback just by itself? Not really. Not much. Uh, so it leaves them right in his face. At least minus 19 or 20, somewhere around there. So you can pretty much count on any Elisa, Elisa player who uses the move to do the extension. Uh, not always, because if I do the extension too much, you're going to be thinking to sidestep, right, right. which is what I want you to do. Mm. And then, then I won't do the extension. Yeah, and then if I sidestep thinking that he was going to do the extension, uh, I don't get anything because I missed my Punisher opportunity. Oh, I see. So it's kind of a mix-up on a mix-up on a mix-up. Yeah, but there is very many ways to punish that move, and we'll show you right now. If I don't do the extension, Lars obviously gets the, the easy launch. If uh, if I do the extension, there's plenty of ways. There's you could do the big jumping hop kick, which is a forward four uh, with capitals, as we discussed earlier in mm -hmm. this episode. Yeah, early in this episode. Till the or comma, I, we have a uh, yeah. Well, well, we'll show them that. Right yeah, now. we'll show you. In general, you could follow that up with a combo or anything like that. Yeah, and then the easiest way is to just sidestep around the reset. But then also the thing is, uh, if she does do the extension and I thought she was going to do the extension and I did the up forward for the big one um, I, what would happen in that situation? Oh. It would not be an extension. Yeah I would just that block it. Well that was late right let's try it again. Yeah I would just block oh, okay. it and then the big up forward four is safe for every character. Well some characters don't have it like Steve since he's a boxer but <laughs> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like he doesn't have legs. But <laughs> <laughs> 
But yeah, so generally, if you, you know, kind of want to, like, what I like to do against a lot of characters is have one option that covers two things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, since this one's safe, and if they didn't do the extension, I'm still safe, since uh, the big up forward four hot kick is safe. Uh, I, I'll just throw that out once in a while, and if I know he's going to stop doing the extension, then I'll just go for the launcher once in a while. But yep. Yeah, generally you would like to uh, find some sort of answer that could cover two options. It's a good idea. Okay, and so if you do sidestep the extension, you can get a back grab if you're back lucky. Back grab, side grab, depending on your How angle. How far you sidestep. I see. Yeah, and also uh, a launcher on their back. Oh, okay. And let's show them the back grab. Oh, man. That was uh, a side grab. <laughs> so, the, so yeah, it depends on the angle of how big your that angle. step was, basically. And we but, also discussed that uh, you could break side throw, so it's generally not the best thing to do. But uh, I guess if you step all the way to her back, the best thing you could probably do is a launcher. It will be more damage than a back throw in most cases. Like, uh, do it again? Mars can get that, flip her over, and get a full combo. But not all characters have a really good back opponent back turn juggle. Mm, not all characters. Right. At least it doesn't at all. So for some characters, you might want to just do a back grab. I guess depending on which one does more damage for your right. character. Yeah. Character specific, right? Okay, um, so what about at the wall? We were talking about the Oki situations you like to do. You know, uh, you do the wall combo with the chainsaws out. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, on defense, you're waking up. You know, she's got her chainsaws out. What do you want to do there in that situation? Generally, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to duck because the mids are going to hurt and they're safe anyways. So if I if I could start inching away from the wall by just taking a couple lows, I'll take like the down one a couple times, and I'll just keep trying to side step away from it to be safe. I mean, uh, it's not really worth it to like duck and eat that you know the whole launcher again, possibly yeah, the, the whole combo again, and the maybe whole combo, and you right. reset into that same situation. And take and some damage and walk away from the wall is generally a good idea. And how how much damage is that down one? I think it's thirty. Okay. 30 damage. So yeah. still, it's a pretty big it, chunk of damage. It's but good it's damage, worth the risk. but it's not, you know, the two damage. How much does the two do? All right. It's uh, as you can see there. It did thirty eight. versus eighty. Uh, yeah, all right. I'd rather take the thirty at like two times or versus. And like eight. we talked about in the first episode, you only got one hundred and eighty health, so yeah, you like know, close to half life. So already. you need six of those down ones and just like what two and a half of the twos, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's not worth the risk. Sometimes. All right. Anything else we need to talk about with, you know, as far as what elite players do a lot that we need to beat or that we should we were looking to avoid? Um, for one one, right? You yeah. can duck the second. We talked about that earlier. Yep. Um, what's that one string? Back 4-3. Back 4-3, Back 4-3, right. you could sidestep it to your left. Oh, okay. Okay, and let's, look, what about a down 4-2? What's How's the tracking like on it? You could sidewalk it both ways, actually, but it, it, it has a little bit tracking of both ways. Wait, wait, so did you say you can sidewalk it both ways? Both ways. So basically, if you're sidewalking her left, you're going to avoid a down back 3 or a down 4-2. So sidewalking left seems pretty reasonable. Yes. Okay, so we're basically saying that sidewalking works. Yeah. Against, her. Against Lisa, right. And uh, generally want to go left too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Generally. More. And the, uh, you think you got the thing you got to watch out for is around this range. This is a, about the range where uh, Alisa can be doing her instant running moves, which is four 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 two, and around this range four 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 three. Um, obviously, you don't want to get hit by either of those but this is high but you don't want to get hit by the mid but the high is plus four so uh you know it's it's kind of an iffy situation because if you get hit by the the mid it, it's going to hurt a lot it's probably one of the strongest running moves in the game especially at the wall where you get wall right it's a yeah. full combo mm -hmm. but um the mid the two mids are minus on block but the the high itself is, is plus on block and uh, what about the running move when she has her chainsaws out and it dives to that one? <laughs> that was a good description, right? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, that one's minus on uh, on, uh, on block, on block, but it's safe. Okay, and, and can you step that? Yeah, that one's easily stepped, actually. So if you see her chainsaws out and she's running at you, you can get ready to step her. Yeah. Or walk her, I guess. Yeah. Oh. Easily. 
And does she have any other options out when running with chainsaws out? Uh, she has running one and two also easily stuck. Wow. 